So I have to have a disclaimer in front of this video. I'm sorry, but some of the drawings and paintings I did are a little disturbing. It's for a zombie book I've been writing. So small children probably shouldn't be watching this video, but I've had a lot of problems with some of these paintings and drawings and I just wanted to have somewhere to discuss it. The problem with this one is that it's just not finished and this one is almost finished I think. I'm not sure if it's finished or not. Um, this one is done. It's one of my most completed works. This one is done as well. What you don't know is there's zombies underneath that hot air balloon. This one I drew, but my mother was the one to paint it, so it's not in my exact painting style, which probably isn't very good anyway. Oh, and my mother did this one completely, and I think she did a lovely job on it. She also painted this one, but I am the one who drew it. This I painted, yes, she is a zombie, I know. This is my favorite one, it's so weird. I drew it, my mother painted it, and then I painted over it, which she didn't like, but it came out the way that I wanted it for the book. This was an experiment before I even started writing the book. I did not like the way this one came out. And this paper is actually really bad. I ran out of the good paper and then I bought this because it had mixed reviews, but it ended up being terrible. It does not paint very well. And more interesting problems when you've been writing a book for a really long time and you didn't finish it and got away from it and then forgot about it. I don't know who this couple is. Like, I don't know what characters they are. I have no idea. I mean, I'm not the best artist to begin with, so I've had to have find pictures and actors that look like how I want the characters to look. That was a zombie that I did, but it's on the bad paper. So painting on this will be a problem and it really won't come out well. It's not good for watercolor, acrylics, or oil. I do really love this one, but I haven't finished it. That is the Queen of England. Uh, armored carriage, a fa fine family, and two people, and her head is so much bigger than her his. I did not realize that when I was painting. At least I know who they are. And this one, again, is the bad paper, and it's really hard to get anything to look good because it doesn't layer very well. This is the bad paper as well. That is actually the good paper, but I've never finished this painting. And I really need to work on drawing over that painting because one of the characters doesn't look right. I may have to go back to the story, add another character for that to be because they do not look how they should look for the book. I'm particularly proud how this particular zombie came out. I think it, he looked really good. I'm really not sure if I painted this one or my mother painted this one, but I know I drew it. I'm not happy with how she looks. I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I do love this one, but maybe I should just use colored pencil. I'm not sure. I'm trying to paint this bad paper with colored pencil, watercolor pencil, and we'll see how it comes out. I did realize that if you use the colored pencil directly on it after it's been wet, that that is bad because it goes on too dark. You can see where it is too dark on this particular zombie. I have read through the book recently that I've been working on. It does need a lot of work, just little additives, and it needs chapters moved around and an ending. I did not write the ending. Oh, no. I'm hoping to be done with the book in six months and then probably publish in about a year. I will keep you abreast of 
any changes that are happening. And I hope you enjoyed this and you can tell me what your favorite painting is. I did realize when I was compiling compiling this that I have a couple pieces that are missing because I know that I know what I painted, not necessarily who I painted, obviously, because I don't remember who that one character is. I may just have to cut them out and paint new paintings, just a couple new paintings. I am buying uh, more watercolor paper and I believe I'm gonna buy more acrylic paper because that is what I like to use the best but the bad paper was supposed to be acrylic paper and it's not proper acrylic paper it just it's not good this is a picture of what I painted but I had to use water gauss color and it just dried so quickly that um, you're not getting the details that you should be getting with the gouache painting. So I had to paint really, really quickly and it came out okay, but not great. Thank you for watching this video that was all about me and my art. And I hope you enjoyed it and I hope that you love art too. And if you have any advice on what I should do with the bad paper since some of the drawings on it are so pretty and I want to be able to use them but I'm not sure how. Mm -hmm.